guys, I haven't watched cable TV in like 25,000 years. Uh, the last reality TV show with three judges that I watched was yes. American Idol, so I named them. You know, maybe oh, there's boy. a crossover version. Hey y'all, welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Pro Chef? Today I'm going head to head with someone who's younger, cuter, and more chefy than I am, Nick DiGiovanni. You've been eating grapefruits the wrong way. Let me show you how. Am I intimidated? Maybe a little, but only if I buy into the societal construct of success, which, you know, I'm trying not to. There's nothing but ephemeral skin in the game, there are no prizes, there are no punishments for losing, and therefore, we're just here to have a great time. We'll go head to head, answer some questions about food knowledge. I got nothing. I cannot believe you're doing me dirty like this. And know how. I don't understand the question. Uh -huh. Let's meet Nick, shall we? If you watch TV, you'll have seen him on MasterChef. Nick. Maybe you've seen him on the TikTok. Let's make pasta chips. On the YouTubes. Today we have an 80 pound wheel of Parmesan cheese straight from Italy. Oh God. Or on the Instagrams, you know, whatever the kids are on these days. I'm too old for this shit. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nick DiGiovanni. You can find me on TikTok and YouTube. And today I'm gonna be playing Are You Smarter Than a Pro Chef? Where I'll be going head to head against the Lish Test Kitchen chef, June. June, let's do this. Let's do it. I'm ready to do this. Do you have your marker? I got my marker. I got my I got my board. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Question one, surf and turf typically refers to what food combination? Okay. <laughs> Will you accept land meat? Land meat? <laughs> I've always wondered, like, isn't seafood also meat? Do we not count crab and salmon? All that. I feel like, like it's a pretty it, ambiguous term, honestly. It is. It's food. Yeah. I've never heard land meat. I've never heard <laughs> land meat before. I don't think land meat is a <laughs> phrase. I just made it up. But like, they walk on land yeah, and then no, we eat good. them. Land meat. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. What are julienne cuts meant to look like? Um. I'm just okay. writing the picture of what it looks like. Oh. You're right. You're writing a picture? Yeah. How do you write a picture? Drawing a picture. <laughs> um, I wrote real thin matchsticks. I drew exactly that. <laughs> it's very like avant-garde of That's you, you know. That's a pretty good drawing. Very interpretive. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. So add that to your resume too. Artist. Question three. When you coat a food in flour and breadcrumbs before frying, it is called uh, interesting. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. I feel like you definitely have the correct term up. I think it's because stretchy. this this could also just mean like somebody's punching me really hard. <laughs> so, all right, number four, I'm ready. Show it to me. Name four citrus fruits that aren't lemons, limes, grapefruits, or oranges. Wow. Oh, boy. No. Um, I just feel like I can't write fast enough. Yeah. I was also gonna write tangerines. It was so hard to write fast. I wrote pomelo, kumquat, mandarins. I got pomelo, yuzu, and finger lime. Ooh, yuzu, that's a delicious one. Yeah. What's your favorite way of using yuzu in cooking? I feel like a yuzu aioli is really good. Just cutting the fat of an aioli with a, with a really unique uh, citrus. That's why he's the chef, folks. <laughs> Answer is we'll consult lists. <laughs> Wait, can we see the whole list? Like just flash it on the screen? Question five, what are the three parts of the Cajun Creole Holy Trinity? I have Oh man. Me neither. <laughs> I know what the Holy Trinity is, but I don't know what the Cajun Creole is. Sorry guys, forgive me. I truly have uh, no knowledge of I, Cajun Creole food. I don't food. know, I got nothing. Oh, I knew what the Holy Trinity was. I, didn't, I thought it was different if it was Cajun or Creole. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Wait, is it a trinity? Is it a holy trinity in other cultures mm -hmm. and cuisines too? No, I just knew what the, I, I know what the holy trinity is, right? Because it, it's only one ingredient different from mirepoix, right? It's just the bell peppers. Yes. But I, so, but right. I just thought a Cajun Creole was just different. You, you make your trinities as you go, you know? You can concoct a whole new trinity. Number six, I'm ready. You ready? I'm good, I'm good to go. What is the name of the person who makes sauces in a professional kitchen? I feel like you're gonna get this one, and uh, uh, I mean, French kitchens, not really my thing, guys. Just gonna go with the obvious, that's probably definitely wrong. You got it. <gasps> is it saucier? Amazing, look at that. Fake it till you make it, folks. Wow, okay, cool. Hope you can't see my armpit stains right now. <laughs> Just like sweating my entire body weight in my 95 degree it's kitchen. It's, so it's cool. But this is but this is what it's like to be in a professional kitchen, so we're... It's true. We're in, the, we're in the spirit. Number seven, what are capers? What do you mean, what are capers? What? I don't understand the question. <laughs> uh, Tiny... Um, what are capers? That? I said tiny little flavor yeah. berries? I wrote berries. Mm. Oh, flower buds. Shoot. Flower buds versus berries. That's a hard one. Who's a scientist? Not me. Now we know. Question eight. All right. Wow. I cannot believe you're doing me dirty like this. Who were the original three judges on MasterChef? Guys, I haven't watched cable TV in like 25,000 years. Um. Um, I, the last reality TV show with three judges that I watched was yeah. American Idol, so I named them. You know, maybe oh, there's boy. a crossover version. Oh, wait, <laughs> what? Those are the three original? <sighs> oh, yeah, no way wrong. I would have gotten that. I got one wrong. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. American Idol, though. Give it up. What a good show. It is a good show. It's funny because they were the three that were, of course, on my season, but I still got it wrong. Nick's entree for me was the best of the night. Yes, I got this. What combo was Whoa. originally used in the viral TikTok tortilla fold? Uh, mm -hmm. my gosh. Why do I have to answer TikTok when I'm not on any of these platforms? I don't know the answer um, Shoot. Shoot! Yes! We got it. Yes! We got it. I mean, it had to be. It had to be it. I mean, one good thing about TikTok is everything's predictable. True. Um, question 10. Which chef has the most Michelin stars? Y'all. Yeah, I, I, I way got this wrong. No. Alain Ducasse. Did you get that right? Of course, it's a French man. No. Oh, yeah, well, I, I think this means you still win, I, buddy. I squeaked out the win barely. But like you said, we don't win anything and we don't lose anything. It's true. Why did you even come here today? Just that bored with Just life, huh? Fun. Just to do a little bit of food based jeopardy. <laughs> Fun in 2021, folks. I'm hoping that you also had fun. Thank you so much, Nick, for coming on the show today and uh, duking it out with me, a noob. Definitely haven't worked in as many Michelin-starred kitchens as you have and have a lot more to learn from your TikToks and YouTubes, I think. That was quite the battle. Thank you for facing off. You were, we were both, <laughs> I feel like we were both worthy opponents. Yes, and now I'm going to change because I'm just drenched in nerves and sweat. It was like working in a pro kitchen for a couple hours. Tru we truly. Did. And uh, we got paid just as bad yes, as did. in a professional kitchen. Yes, we did. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Look at that. You even have a smiley face. Thanks for facing off against me, June. To everyone watching, definitely check me out on YouTube, TikTok, and more. And hopefully we'll do some more trivia soon. Thank you for being here.